friends, hello, welcome back. This is tough for me. I, I, don't, I don't like doing this. I don't like it one bit. Pure Luke DePaul though, it, it's pretty clear after getting benched yesterday for some lack of effort that he wants out of Columbus as if he didn't already mention it. And it seems to be the leading candidate is the Montreal Canadiens for a team that he would want to go to. I mean, does that mean Columbus trades in there? Absolutely not. But I think today, again, as much as it pains me to do, we're going to take a look at some Montreal Canadian potential trades here featuring Pierre Luc Dubois. Dubois 86 overall in this game, if that means anything, not really in real life, but in this game 86. The 22 year old, and over these last three seasons, 49, 61, and 48 points. Last season, felt like he was really starting to get into the groove. I think last two seasons, really, here has Pierre, has Pierre Luc Dubois. And again, 22, he's been in top line center for these Blue Jackets. It's a tough spot to replace, especially in a league where the center is a tougher position to fill as well there you really don't want to lose that position you don't have to which is interesting that it's montreal and trade talks here because it's montreal that just sent the blue jackets max domi because they didn't really have a spot for him down the middle because of how many centers they had but nonetheless we'll look at montreal here i know we've heard a lot of kakakaniemi trades cod can cod i can never say his name right kakakaniemi trades here and uh, i don't know I, I there's so much mixed reviews about this guy he's still 20 and you want to believe he's going to be promising that you see him play in montreal and he puts up eight points in a minus 11 36 games play and it's like yeah he's still clearly working on something there but it's probably going to be if montreal was to make a trade you would assume they'd go prospect right because again carry price he's not getting any younger you're going to send somebody that way and if you're the blue jackets you have to get a center back in or not center you have to get a four i guess center be nice but you have to get a forward back because you don't need defense really here so uh, you think you're getting that sort of talent in return or you're getting a draft pick in return here i did not know suzuki's another one i mean maybe you work a trade with suzuki the first rounder from 2017 he's been i don't know i i really don't see a lot here that i like with the montreal canadians but again it seems like Highly possible here. We're gonna play along and see what we can get going. 13 by 28 and a minus 15. I don't know. I you know, I'll be honest. I don't really not like Suzuki. I think what concerns me about guys like Suzuki is the fact that he's already 21 when he starts playing in a league. That's always a concern there when they're not as old. But let's talk a Suzuki trade, I think, here. I mean, if we'd go Suzuki, we're talking pure Luke the ball would happen here, it would be over the maximum salary cap. I don't really care if they're over the salary cap. Well, we'll retain some salary and make it work for him here, I guess, because it's just the game we're going to sim up the season if anything and that's it and uh, you know they make it work in real life here so there you go retain that salary for you guys that works but that's going to make the price go up a little bit we won't worry about that though again it won't happen in real life that way they make it work if they have to but um montreal here i'm looking i mean see i don't think you get a first round draft pick back for dubois i just i don't see it. he's worth a first round pick especially if you're a team that is going to be a contender and you're talking middle of the pack draft pick but what worries me is he's clearly wanting out of columbus and does a team do a first would you trade nick suzuki and a first for pierre luc dubois i think that's one trade you look at and the other one is obviously ea highly values kodka here and that trade's not going to happen but i do think i you know if you're montreal i think you look at kodka as expendable and then where do you go from there though do you say kodka and maybe like a second maybe even more than a second uh how about kodka in two seconds i'm trying to think of i'm not very good with nhl trades i guess we're gonna say i'm trying to think it's hard you don't see this very often where a player is 22 asking to be traded a first line caliber player to boot so that's what's the difficult thing to figure out here i always think as, as bad as it is for the blue jackets i've seen ryan johansson walk out the door and they got seth jones in return big, big old win in that trade they picked up panarin for brandon inside so the blue jackets when it comes to being you know players that are top six guys they've done a really good job of getting the returns here so maybe you do see a team give them a pretty solid return here more than what we're bringing up here that'd be great if they did i'd love to see it happen but again it's a team that everybody knows he wants to trade i don't know how it's going to hurt or help Kodka, a second and a third. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on that one. EA is not going to accept that. I think we go back to the Nick Suzuki one. I do like the Suzuki one. We'll go first. I mean, that that's actually, if I'm a Blue Jackets, I think that's a pretty solid return. Because, again, I think Suzuki's got some potential there. And you got the first round pick in return. 
it's just man you just sit there and think you could have the ball for six seven years eight years still that, that's tough to replace but if you don't want to be here, you don't want to be here. And you almost have to deal with that. We'll send the Suzuki in at first for PLD. Trade accepted as expected there. We will assistant GM best rosters and just take a look at the carnage. I was just done with these Columbus Blue Jackets taking that PLD trade there. Domi Koivu, we'll go ahead and update the lines. We're talking Domi Koivu and Suzuki. Where are you at, pal? Third line. Okay, Suzuki. Third line. Yeah, well, Dubinsky doesn't play. You probably move him up to the second line. Maybe you probably give Koivu more reps. But you want to get Suzuki some playing time. I'd probably move him to second line there. Domi looking pretty good. You know, positive side here. That Domi trade, he's looking pretty spraying out there for the Blue Jackets right now. Happy to see the way he's playing for this team right now. You got to look at the good side of things here. Blue Jackets, though, clearly. Pierre-Luc DeBois gone, hurting this team. 29-45. Uh, bad season. Is what it is. That was a big loss. Blue Jackets going out there. No first line center anymore. Max Domi having to fill out the voids there. That's a big loss for these Blue Jackets. The best you can do is hope Suzuki grew for this team. And he's going to be a, you know, again, he can be a top six guy for the Blue Jackets in the future. If that would be the case here. We'll take a look real quickly at how the playoffs and the standings or standings in general turned out here. Montreal in general. See how they did. Now that they did pick up Pierre Luc Dubois here, they were still not a playoff team. Even adding POD on offense, they needed a little bit more than that, apparently. Team finished 41 and 35 on this season. So Montreal not going anywhere either there. I'd like to see how many points Dubois finished with. Let's take a look at Suzuki too while we're at it, I guess. Suzuki, 8 by 24, minus 27. Knick, what is that, pal? Minus 27? That led the team, I bet. And good for him. Led the team in a category. That's good, right? Yeah? Can we not filter that? There we go. Yeah, he did. Good for you, Nick. Good for him. Congrats on leading a team in the worst plus minus. That's a that's a winner right there. Montreal, though. We're looking at Pierre Luc de Ball. Oh man, maybe Kotko is the answer. Never mind, we got the wrong filter in there. I was gonna say he's the worst player on your team from plus minus standpoint, too. But Montreal, we got Gallagher, and there's Doobie right behind him. 27 goals. 40 assists, a very good season. And this man moved all the way from an 86 to a 90 overall. Unreal. Good for Dubois. He changes scenery. He just starts lighting it up over there. The progress is unreal as well. That's going to wrap things up, though. Pierre-Luc Dubois, what kind of trade you guys got drawn up for him? Love to hear about it. As for this video, though, guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.